Google Parent Alphabet got a big boost in earnings as advertisers keep heading to the search giant. Alphabet also got a multi-billion dollar boost from its stake in Uber. However, Google is facing increasing scrutiny about privacy and how much data they collect on all of us who use the service. Artificial intelligence could replace half of banking jobs in the next decade. James D'Arezzo says in five years, artificial intelligence would be able to not only handle banking needs, but also make recommendations based on analysis of customers' finances. But banks will need more information technology employees to manage all that data and the artificial intelligence. AT&T is growing its line of video streaming offerings with a new skinny bundle of live TV channels. The new offering called AT&T Watch will cost $15 a month for general consumers. It will be free for AT&T wireless subscribers, though. Details around exact rollout date and which channels will be included have yet to be announced, but it has been reported that sports will not be part of this package. Old Match.com profiles are showing up again online. Verge reports thanks to a glitch, some former users of the dating site started receiving emails in recent weeks informing them they are matched with someone, despite the fact that their account was deleted years ago. A match group spokesperson confirmed that a limited number of old accounts had been accidentally reactivated. From the Nasdaq market site in Times Square, I'm Jane King with your tech report.